All right, uh, let's uh, take a look at the properties of organic compound. Okay, the first one, let's see this table. This is a com comparison uh, between organic compounds and ionic compounds. And uh, <coughs> the first one is the uh, inner molecular force and the organic compounds are weak and the ionic compound is strong. Uh, boiling point and the uh, organic compounds are low, ionic compounds are high. Melting point, organic compound low, and ionic compound high. Uh, the states at the room temperature. Okay, organic compounds can be either in gas, liquid, or solid. Okay, it, this is depend on the size uh, of a uh, uh, compound, organic compound. If it's smaller molecules uh, in gas state and the medium size in liquid and uh, the larger molecules are solid. And uh, organic compounds are solid states, okay? All the, uh, organic compounds are solid. Um, <coughs> so the, I see the, the physical property of uh, 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 organic uh, compounds depends on the molecule size, okay? Um, molarity of organic compounds depends on uh, polarity of uh, covalent bonds and uh, uh, molecular uh, symmetry. Uh, organic compounds contain uh, heteroatoms, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, chlorine, etc. Uh, are likely uh, uh, polar, okay, because those uh, heteroatoms have a higher uh, electronegativity okay, than carbon. Um, uh, the covalent uh, bonds between carbon and those uh, hetero, uh, uh, hetero atoms are polar. So therefore, uh, hydrocarbons uh, contain only uh, 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 only non-polar carbon-carbon uh, 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 covalent bond or and uh, carbon-hydrogen covalent bonds. Uh, So those compounds, those hydrocarbons, are nonpolar. Okay, uh, if a hydrocarbon only contain uh, CC bond and a CH bond, so so those molecules are nonpolar. Uh, one molecule contain uh, two or more uh, uh, polar uh, bonds, uh, but the uh, molecule symmetry. Uh, can consult the molarity of um, uh, of the molecule. Okay, so the molecule, uh, uh, although uh, contain polar bonds, but the molecule itself is non-polar. The example is this uh, dichloroacetylene. Uh, uh, dichloroacetylene. You can see that the chlorine uh, carbon bond is a uh, is a polar but this uh, uh, this whole molecules there's the two bonds that cancel out okay the whole molecule here is a non-polar this is a this actually is a two-fold symmetry two-fold symmetry the, the polarity of it was a uh, was a uh, polar component bond the two uh, cancel out okay <coughs> Uh, next, uh, let's uh, take a look at the solubility. Okay, remember the term uh, like, uh, dissolve like. Okay, um, most organic uh, compounds are soluble in organic solvents. Okay, hydrocarbons and other non-polar organic uh, compounds are not uh, soluble in water. Um, polar organic compounds are water soluble only if they they are small, uh, this less than six carbons, uh, and contain uh, uh, some uh, hetero atoms uh, like uh, nitrogen, oxygen. Those atoms can form uh, hydrogen bonds with the water. Okay, those uh, compounds can be soluble in water. All right. 